Today we're at Bill's RV Service here in beautiful Ventura, California once again to do a little repair job on our rubber roof up here and to help us out once again is Bill Gear. Bill, how you doing today? Good, how you doing? Just fine. So uh, this little item here, it's an emergency repair kit that you can pick up at Camping World. And that's pretty handy, isn't it? It really is. It run about 40 bucks and if you get a tear in your rubber roof, it's basically only for rubber roof. It comes with the sealer and a piece of the rubber to actually patch it. Okay, and we also have these items down here. This is another way to do it, right? Right, and these are what they call just a quick roof. It's a real quick patch. It's got its own adhesive. Something I'd really recommend if you got a rubber roof when you're out somewhere and you tear it on a branch, you can just peel it, stick it, saves it from getting water in there. Okay, but we're going to be using this kit here and we're going to have to go upstairs. We're but gonna, first, we have to, I guess, do some cleaning, right? Yep, we got, that's what they got here. We got paper towel and some mild cleaner. Okay, let's All go right, clean. Let's go up. So here we are up on the roof, and this is our nasty little tear, and you can see we got a, a couple of holes, well, three actually. Yeah, and you can see that the rain's gonna run right in this and damage the wood and whatever else. So it, it really is imperative that this be patched. And as, as anything, you wanna make sure that the surface is clean in order to put a good sealer down there. Gotcha, otherwise it won't hold on there. Yeah, otherwise the sealer would really only be temporary. And what are we use in here? Cleaner, it's just a kind of a diluted 409. You want something fairly strong, but you don't want something real caustic that'll damage the rubber roof. Gotcha. So once we have that clean like that, we can now we can cut this piece of rubber roof. This is part of the kit that comes with this. Okay. And you just measure off a... Uh... Yeah, we're just going to kind of hold it up here. Obviously, it doesn't need to be real accurate. It, it, you just want to make sure you get at least an inch of coverage around all sides or a little bit more. There's that piece. Yeah, let me peel the paper off here so I can get a better idea of where we are. What does this feel like? That's kind of rubbery like, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, some strange rubber, that's for sure. It doesn't feel like anything you see in a hardware store. Right, so that fits right over there. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm just gonna kind of size it up here a little bit. Okay. So let me get the sealer out. And we want to make sure that we pretty good, put a pretty good bead around here, this tube that they send you. you oh, wanna... I see. So you put that all around the holes there to make sure that you get a nice seal. Yeah, to make sure if nothing else, it it's not going to get past, even if it gets past the edge, it probably won't get past this inboard in seal here. I see. That goes right on there. And you get a nice firm seal there. Yeah, and then what they want you to do in the direction is they want you to literally pull these edges up right here and just kind of run a little bit of a bead under them. I see. Yeah, so this just hardens then? Yeah, once this, it doesn't really get real hard, it does stay somewhat flexible. Uh huh. So get it, make sure you push it down out. See how you can really go across here and you can really make a nice seal? Right. Once this sealer dries, it really is more of a permanent type seal. Gotcha. All right, and it's done and it was what, 35, 40 bucks? Yeah, th it's about 40 bucks for the kit and a little bit of your time in it. Excellent. There Thank you, you Bill. Uh -huh. Thanks All for right. your help. All right, we'll be right back.